Upon ushering in the new year 2023, Kenyans are still facing a myriad of challenges, among them being the cost of electricity. Reports had indicated that consumers are likely to dig deeper into their pockets from January 1st, as the cost of power had been predicted to go up to by 15% due to the end of subsidy. <laughs> President William Ruto has, however, today denounced reports that the cost of electricity will spike in 2023. To allay the fears that are being spread by um, people that there will be an increase in electricity um, costs, I want to assure the country that we removed subsidies in August there will be no additional charges today or going into the future on electricity bills. Speaking during a church service at Sloam Ministry in Bamburi, Mombasa County, Ruto insisted that there is an ongoing review of tariffs on all energy requirements and in three months' time there will be a public consultation in an effort to ensure the tariffs are sensitive to those with minimum earnings. We are conducting a whole review of tariffs of all our energy requirements. And in three months' time, we will have public consultation to ensure that we have tariffs that are sensitive to those at the, uh, um, with, with, uh, with, with minimum uh, uh, earnings to ensure that those at the bottom of the pyramid are not affected and to ensure that we can support our manufacturers. This, he said, will help ensure those at the bottom of the pyramid are not affected while at the same time supporting the manufacturers. All the subsidies that we removed in, uh, in August, and we are going to ensure that our manufacturers, our value addition processors, and all Kenyans, including those on lifeline tariff, are taken in cons into consideration as we review the tariffs going into, um, into the future. Ruto has maintained that subsidies on commodities could not offer a permanent solution. Contrary to the stories being peddled around that there will be job losses, there will be additional uh, cost of living, uh, those are just uh, people who are speculators. Let me assure the country that we have already made the right decisions on ensuring that we have a predictable platform on how to run our economy. President William Ruto has however assured Kenyans that the Kenya Kwanzaa government has put in place measures to ensure that the economy is built on a strong foundation that is sustainable and self-reliant. We do not want to be bad people. We want to leave an inheritance for our children by building our country not on debt but on our taxes na nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya wengi ambao wanalipa ushuru hasa wale wa Kenya wa kiwango ya chini wote wanalipa ushuru bila kukwepa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wale wengine wote wawe ni wakubwa wawe wanajulikana wawe ni waheshimiwa wawe ni wastahiki Wawe ni my excellency, wote pia watalipa ushuru. President Ruto has lauded Mombasa Governor Abdul Samad Sharif Nasser for scrubbing off taxes for religious institutions. The first promise that we made is it will no longer be an unwritten law that churches, mosques and any other place of worship land rates should not be paid. We have now anchored it in law so that anyone, anywhere, can never ever try and do anything. Kwa hivo, ardhi, ya kanisa, ya mskiti, and any place of worship, it is now anchored in law. Your Excellency, nilikuwa na kuambia subuhi ya kwa tunajaribu kukusanya pesa hapa na pale, lakini ya mungu tuachie mungu. So hapo, tumekubaliana, and we've even put it in our finance bill. Viongozi wetu wa wadini, for the contribution they make, 
our spiritual leaders, our spiritual institutions, our religious institutions, they play a critical role in the development of our country and we must eliminate burdens of taxes on our religious institutions and governor you have my support as you do that president ruto has called on kenyans to join in the challenge of planting trees and inculcate the culture kwa sababu ya sisi kama binadamu kuharibu mazingira mwaka huu wanyama wa pori ndovu mbweha na wengine ambao hawana hatia mwaka huu walikufa kwa kiangazi kwa sababu ya shughuli setu kama binadamu Mombasa Governor Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir head on December 29th 2022 launched a program dubbed Mombasa Year to Program a program that President Ruto has promised to hire youth to help take care of the environment and keep the city clean Mombasa Youth Tumeanza program tukachukua vijana elfu mbili katika kazi za mitaani Mombasa yangu program na ukaniambia gavana ya kwa, kwa kila kijana mmoja unayemchukua the central government is matching one extra person vijana waweze kupanda miti tuweze kuboresha mji wetu hapa Mombasa hatuna miti ya kutosha Nimetembea barabarani miti ni chache sana na wasihi kila mmoja wetu tafadhali panda miti mia tatu mwaka huu kila mmoja wetu nimekubaliana na governor wenu ya kwamba yeye atatoa pesa sehemu na serikali ya kitaifa itatoa pesa sehemu tuajiri vijana jeshi kubwa hapa Mombasa watakao tusaidia kwa mambo ya mazingira na kupanda miti Mombasa na tutafanya hivyo Kilifi, Kwale, Lamu, Tana River na kila county katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu